If you give me the next couple of minutes of your time, I'm going to show you the best blitz in Madden right now. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the YouTube channel. Now, as you can see here, we're only sending five people at the quarterback and we're getting a gap and edge pressure uh, completely clean. So we're going to show you exactly how you do that out of the nickel triple defense in Madden 22. Now I released a full ebook on the nickel triple defense. I think this is probably, I mean, honestly, not probably anymore. This is my favorite defense in the game because the pressure you can create from this is insane. Um, the more that I lab this formation, the more pressure that I find. And what's cool about our defensive guides is we're going to continue to update that formation if there's anything that we find new or if there's any patch that comes out. So you're always going to have the most up-to-date version of the defense, the exact defense that I would run if I was running the nickel triple. So um, that being said, I am so excited to share this video with you because it's so simple and it's so effective. We're going to show you how you can get a gap and edge pressure out of the nickel triple. If you want to get the rest of the defensive ebook, like I said, it is on sale uh, for just $15 in the description of the video. Now, I'm going to be coming out in the Tampa 2. You could also come out in any of the nickel blitzes, and I'm going to show that in just a second because it's really easy to set it up if you're in the nickel blitz. But I want to show you how to set it up out of Tampa 2 because I actually think it's better out of Tampa 2 because the blitz angles are just slightly different uh, from that formation. So anyways, let's go out of Tampa 2. And all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. You can also show blitz if you want. And we're going to blitz that slot corner off the right just like that. And then I'm going to blitz my user. And I'm going to basically go down uh, and to the left and then snap the ball. So I'm just going to go down to the left just like that. And as you see there, we get the A-gap pressure. Now, the, uh, the other thing that you can do from this is you can also contain. I have found that containing uh, can make this a little bit better. So again, just blitz the slot corner, blitz your user, and then you're good. That's it. That's literally it. And as you see there, uh, J.J. Watt's being a little bit weird. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and contain on this next setup just to kind of help it a little bit. The contain is not always, like I said, it's not always necessary. The other thing I want to really, really call or uh, say to you guys watching this video, you can bring this guy down just a little bit as well. If you bring him down a little bit, um, you'll see here it makes it, it makes the gap pressure oftentimes come from the other guy, which is just a different, it's just a different way of running the blitz. Uh, but anyways, let me just show you. So again, we're just going to stand just like this. And we're gonna. I like to hold left trigger. Uh, and what you'll see here is, as you see, JJ Watt comes completely clean through the a gap. Now, the way that you get the edge pressure to be a little bit more consistent is by containing. So when we blitz the slot, and I totally messed my blitz angles up. So let me see here if I can fix this. Uh, when we blitz that slot, you might need to stack him just like that. If you just move him in just a step. Uh, it will make this even better and will really, really make it super consistent. There you see again, just incredible pressure uh, from this formation. Now, uh, a way that I like to kind of uh, make this even better is if you show blitz, I'll show you what you can do from that point. So uh, here I'm going to show blitz. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, again, move this guy in off the edge just a smidge, just to contain, get that contain rush angle. And then what I can do is I can man this linebacker on the left side up on the running back, and I can, again, use her right in here. And what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, snap, go. And worst case scenario, we're normally going to get at the worst, very worst case scenario, we're still going to get pretty good edge pressure. So, again, let me show you that one more time. And let me let me show you without ah never mind I'm gonna keep my guy on a blitz, so you see here just kind of stand right here. You just go down into the right as you see there. Worst case scenario you're gonna get that. Now, if you're ever having any trouble with the a gap pressure, let's say you're playing regs, just sub somebody in for JJ Watt. Okay, so I'm just gonna sub in another player, and um, you'll see that it will make the blitz better. So I'm just gonna sub in any person here, any of these defensive ends. Uh, I'm going to move J.J. Watt over here to the back side, maybe move Gold into the right side here. Just kind of move people around, and you'll see that that will literally be enough uh, to make this blitz probably work even better uh, than it did. Now, this time I'm going to show it to you out of the Nickel Blitz 2. And again, all we're going to do is, with Nickel Blitz 2, you don't have to blitz the slot. He's already blitzing. So all you do is show blitz, contain, and blitz your user right here. Snap of the ball, 
and as you see you get edge pressure and that time the a gap got a little caught up but for the most part that's going to come in fairly consistently so again you're just doing this i mean it's a super simple setup you're just going down and and like i said if you ever get picked up normally your edge pressure is going to come in so this is a really simple it's really simple because it's only sitting five you're only sitting five and that's why i like this so much you know you can do if you move the more you move your user to the inside the less likely your a gap pressure so i wouldn't even necessarily move him i would literally just hold left trigger and blitz him just hold left trigger blitz him and there you see we're getting this uh, pressure now i think that defensive tackle now what i'll do is i'll sub uh, jj watt back into the nose tackle part of this is an acceleration thing too um, the guy that I probably subbed in was a little bit slower. So I'm going to go ahead and sub JJ Watt back into that position uh, just so that I can get a little bit of a faster uh, defensive tackle. So with Zach Allen over there, JJ Watt on that side, we'll come out now and let's do it from nickel blitz three just to show you, you can do it from any of those plays. It doesn't matter which one uh, we're going to press or we're going to press or show blitz contain. And then we're just going to blitz our user. That's literally it. The play is completely set up. I like this one maybe a little bit better. This probably will be a little bit better. But as you see there, J.J. Watt comes completely free right down Main Street. Very, very good blitz. Very, very good blitz. So, again, I'll show it to you one more time. Just globally, uh, or you don't even have to globally blitz. Just blitz your user. Come, come uh, Press coverage or show blitz and then contain. And then as you see there, if the pressure gets picked up on the A gap, you're going to get the edge or you're going to get that disengaged B gap. Somebody's coming in as the bottom line. Now, uh, one other thing I did want to show is let's say you don't blitz your user. You just need to come down like this, and you'll see here the play will still work. So you don't have to blitz your user if you don't want to because I find that you actually get better. Um, I found this year that you get better user capability if you don't blitz him. Uh, I find that it's a little bit harder to change direction uh, this year if you blitz him. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind uh, as you're running this. So you might just zone your user, something like this. As you can see here, I'll show Blitz and show you that version. And snap the ball. And as you see there, J.J. Watt comes completely clean through the A-gap. So this is one of my favorite Blitzes in the game. Like I said, it's really, really simple to run it. Um, let me show you one other thing that you can do. So if I'm doing this right here, if I stand right here at the snap, sometimes I'll get this other guy to come through the gap, and I'll show you that real quick. This is just... Um, it's just a different it's just a different blitz basically but you're just going to basically stand right here and what you'll see is a lot of times we get some glitchy disengages on the right side it doesn't always work but a lot of times we do the reason i like standing uh like over here and then coming down into the left is i'm just going to stand here go down into the left and as you see that's going to help cause all of these different disengages to happen and what it's going to allow is it's going to make it very likely that this edge pressure off the right edge is going to come in. So as you see there, just run down and round, you get a gap and edge, very good blitz. Now, let me show you one other thing that you can do with this to make this really good against a blocked running back. You can man up the blocked running back with that left side guy in the gap. So you see here, we're going to have to blitz the outside backer now. Um, but we're going to do basically this right here. QB contain. This probably is a little bit better of a blitz. And like I said, it's really good against a blocked halfback. As you see, that nose or that that nose tackle A gap, it got tripped up there. But the nose tackle A gap will oftentimes come in against this. I'm gonna audible uh to nickel blitz two because that's already set up for me basically. So I'm gonna audible over to nickel blitz two. Let me see if I can show you the play. I don't know why it's showing you that. Let me go to nickel blitz two here. There we go. So all we're doing is showing blitz, containing. And then we just man up this guy on the running back. Just don't move your user to the inside any more than he already is. And then you're just going to go down into the inside. And as you see, instant pressure at the quarterback. So this is honestly one of my favorite blitzes in the entire game for so many reasons. I find that this blitz really does give people who run uh, Gun Bunch a ton of issues uh, because you've got that nickel corner that really throws off a lot of the protection schemes. And as you see, they blocked a running back and I got consistent A-gap pressure. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn even better blitzes than this and how to use the nickel triple as a complete defensive package, I would encourage you to get my full nickel triple defensive guide. It's on sale for just 15 bucks. The way that you get it is you go down into the description, you click that link that I put in the description, it'll take you right over to the website where you can get the defensive ebook for just 15 bucks.